Hi, this is Aaron and Linda from Flamingos in Wonderland, and today we are so excited to be back here at the Edison in Disney Springs to give you a review of the food there. This is a very special for a restaurant for us, and we're going to tell you everything you need to know about it coming right up. So one of the reasons this video is so special for us and the Edison is because it is the first video we ever had on our channel, the Edison at Walt Disney World. And so if you want a bit of a laugh back in the day, our first video, we'll put the link above so you can uh, check that out after this video. So in honor of splitting our cruise channel to Traveling Flamingos and our Disney channel to Flamingos in Wonderland, we wanted to revisit the first review we ever did and go back to the Edison. So here we go. So as usual, we're going to kick this off with atmosphere and theming. The Edison is an industrial gothic themed restaurant with an entertainment space. It definitely has a unique look and feel. Feels very much like a power station, which is what it's going for. It's designed to look like a 1920s electric company power system. <laughs> the restaurant is split, uh, is split level uh, with a lot of open spaces in seven different dining areas. There's the Ember Parlor, the Telegraph Lounge, the Tesla Lounge, the Waterfront Patio, and more. You can have a different experience every time you come. The first time that we were seated here, we were near the bar. The second time we were seated right at the edge of the overlook on the stage. Currently with safety measures, uh, the hours are reduced and there is some entertainment, but not all that you'll remember from before. There's also reduced menu. We do enjoy all the unique theming, from the clock to the projections and the entertainment. Usually after a day in the parks, Linda doesn't have energy to stay out uh, too late, but the atmosphere is so worth it when all the entertainment is back, we'll definitely be checking it out. After 10 p.m., it does become 21 plus, and there's a dress code, but we'll wait and see if that comes back. Before we get to the location and menu, I just want to pop in here and thank everyone who has liked and subscribed to our channel and say that we have tons of Disney videos about dining and room tours, including Contemporary's Bay Lake Tower and Docking Bay 7 in the beautiful Black Spire Outpost. So when this video is done, be sure to check out our channel and thank you very much. Oh man, Aaron, calling me out for having the sleeping schedule of like a granny. I'm definitely a morning bird, so after a day in the park, it is hard to then get myself all dressed out to go out for an evening. But as Aaron said, the atmosphere is amazing, so it might be worth one of the days sleeping in, so I'd have the energy to do this. So onto the location. The Edison is located in Disney Springs and the Landing, right next to Mary and Enzo's and across from STK. It's right on the water, so if you would prefer to enjoy the Florida weather and the views, it does have a nice outdoor seating option. Disney Springs is very easy to get to. There's lots of parking, buses, and boats depending on where you're coming from. We have lots of great reviews of restaurants in Disney Springs, as Aaron said, including Boathouse, Wine Bar George, and Chef Art Smith's Homecoming. So as you mentioned earlier, the menu is cut down right now, but there are some great staples that are still available that we had when we were here for the first time. Currently, it's only open for dinner and serves American style food. Some appetizers, uh, they have some creamy spinach dips. Uh, they have the DB clotheslines candied bacon, which uh, is quite popular on Instagram. I wish we had that. However, we didn't. Someone across from us did, and it looked awesome. The mains include the queen cut prime rib, full rack of ribs and salmon. There's three desserts and we did not have space for any of it on our trip. Uh, we had gone to Gideon's Cookies before that, but the triple chocolate voltage cake was right up Linda's alley and mine. And the kids menu with options like chicken tenders and tomato soup and grilled cheese really was spectacular. So in terms of what we had, we'll start with the appetizers. We ordered the electric fries, which are $16 US. These had hand cut Idaho russet burbeck potatoes, Edison special sauce, bacon, grated Parmesan cheese, and were topped with green onions. We really did enjoy these. You can ask for any of the toppings on the side if you're a bit unsure if you'll like them. But overall, this was a great app and so easy to share. We weren't planning on eating it all, but we definitely finished it off. 
I got the organic tomato soup and gooey grilled cheese, and it was huge. It has Fontier, Monster, Guire, and Alpine cheese with a spread, and it is on a buttered sourdough bread, and of course it's served with the creamy tomato soup. Aaron went for the Edison, which is a burger with their signature beef blend of sirloin, short rib, and brisket, topped with cheddar cheese, crispy onions, smoked bacon, house-made pickles, lettuce, tomatoes, and a special sauce. Now, since we'd already gone with the electro fries on the side, we had the loaded baked potato instead, and that burger was also huge. We definitely could have just had, you know, an app and shared it, or maybe instead of getting mine, I should have got the bacon as a main, and I could have shared Aaron's burgers with him because the portions were really big. Yeah, it was really good. I really did enjoy the food here. They have a really interesting amount of performances and sort of uh, engaging uh, entertainment uh, when it's not COVID, at least. <laughs> so hopefully when you're here, uh, they will have that as well. In terms of value and price, we found the portions to be pretty big. Everything we had was definitely shareable. The flavors are great and the food was really fresh. I liked the variety on the menu as well. If someone I was traveling with wanted prime rib, I would come here. Uh, there's a lot of variety in the menu and the quality was great. I would definitely go here over the turf club at uh, Saratoga Springs. <laughs> you can check out our review and let us know what you think. I preferred the theming and the sort of general location of Edison. Next time I would share the candied bacon uh, because I think Linda really, 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 really wants that because I've seen this now four times in the script <laughs> that I might have space to try out one of the desserts. The live entertainment is also terrific. We really did enjoy it and it makes for a fun night out. So overall, we clearly loved our experience in the meal. The servers were great and made good recommendations based on our preferences. The menu had a nice variety of food and prices. This is definitely not like any restaurant that we have at home, and it's nice they have some performances back in performers. But someday when it's open late, I will go back to my hotel, clean, get changed up, and go to Edison for the after hours. Just be sure that you book this restaurant in advance. It gets really, really busy, especially around the entertainment nights. Uh, so be sure to do that. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video. Again, this is uh, a remake of the first video we ever made on this channel between Traveling Flamingo and Flamingos in Wonderland. Uh, so if you do want a little bit of a laugh, feel free to look at uh, our first videos. And hopefully in the next two to three years, we'll be saying the same about this one. So there you have it. That's everything you need to know about the Edison. We really hope this helped you figure out what you want to do at Disney Springs because there's so many amazing restaurants. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give us any comments or questions you might have. If there's anything more that you want to know, let us know in the comments below. We'll be happy to get back to you. Thank you all. Happy travels.